Okay, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ. I'm an adult doll collector who just wants to talk about dolls. And my amped up Frankie arrived in the mail yesterday from Amazon. So let's get into it. Okay, so amped up Frankie. We got leaks of them a couple months ago, and the link for the Amazon listing was posted. I went ahead and favorited that listing so I could routinely check to see when they were back in stock. And the listing continued to say, currently unavailable, we're working hard to get this back in stock, or uh, we don't know when or if this item will be back in stock. And somebody on YouTube actually posted the link for them saying, Amped Up Frankie is back in stock. So I real quickly went in and ordered them. And originally it said I was not going to get them until the end of September. And then I got another notification saying that I was going to get them next week. And then yesterday I got a notification letting me know that they were actually out for delivery. So here they are. And supposedly this Frankie actually ties in with the Monster Ball line. I haven't watched a lot of the Monster High episodes because I rely solely on streaming platforms. You know, like Netflix and Paramount and Peacock and Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO Max, or just what they call it now, Max. You know, I don't I don't really have cable. I don't have satellite. So Monster High, Nickelodeon. Can we please get the Monster High show on streaming platforms, please? And thank you. But I really wish I had ordered two of these because this box is beautiful. Like, so we have what looks to be like vanity lights going around the box. And they're like little skullettes. And then we have a little spider web right here. Monster High over here in like that silver where you turn it and it changes colors. Right down here we have some beautiful artwork. It says Amped Up Frankie Stein and you can see them looking in the mirror as they're doing their hair. The back of the box, again, <laughs> this beautiful artwork. I love it. And it says Backstage Glam is complete. And Frankie Stein is ready to rock and charge up the crowd, serving lurks with a high voltage outfit and a supercharged electric guitar. Frankie is amped to give a performance that's positively electrifying. If you are interested, there is the barcode, but let's go ahead and get them unboxed. Even though I really love this box, I'll figure something out. Okay, Frankie is out of the box, but before we take a look at them, we're going to take a look at all of the items that they come with. So first up, we have this blue purse, tote bag, whatever you want to call it, with two giant green electric lightning bolts on it. And we have a little bit of like, what is that? What is that? like bolt type of style over here. Um, um, what is this? Is this like a little charger on the back? I don't know. We have a molded on a zipper. Now this is not a flexible piece of plastic, like rubbery. It's actually very like solid. You can't really like squish it or anything like that you kind of can the handles but other than that it's like a very solid piece of plastic we have a little green electric bolt why do i keep saying electric bolt lightning bolt comb hair dryer blow dryer whatever you want to call it the handle looks like a little lightning bolt bolt hold which is basically hairspray and you can take the cap off we have this very very little tiny picture 
of Frankie, Claudine, and Jackie Laura, and it says BFFs. We have Sour. That's all it says, Sour. But they're, they're like, I feel like it's a play on Sour Patch Kids. So it's like just a little bag of candy. Water bottle, because you got to stay hydrated. My label on mine, though, is like all lopsided. But it's fine, because I believe one of these came with the lounge, uh, student lounge playset, and I think one of the other dolls. So it's like almost a double. We get two hair clips. You can put them in Frankie's hair if you want. Um, they have like a little skullette on them. We have a green zap ring. I believe this came with their Bujit doll. I'm not positive, but I feel like I've seen this ring before. We have this adorable skullet mirror. So it is a black skullet, and the back of it is like a little spider web pattern. My watch is telling me it's time to breathe. I'll breathe when I want to. And then they come with their phone. This one is in a silver color. I cannot really make out who they are messaging on the phone because it's actually very pixelated, but I'm just gonna assume because it has um, their heart up here. I'm just gonna assume that the other heart next to it is Cleo's and they're texting one another. And the back of it looks like that. And my favorite piece that this Frankie comes with. And I'm assuming this is what it is. I could be wrong. Is this a little black chain bracelet with a green lightning bolt on it. The reason why I love this piece so much is while I have not seen a lot of the episodes for the new Monster High show cartoon on Nickelodeon, I did see the episode with Frankie and Cleo where it kind of looked like they were heading into a little, a little bit of a relationship. And they actually made bracelets for one another. And I feel like this is the bracelet that Cleo made for Frankie. And I do know that the storyline for the Monster Ball episode was Frankie wanted to ask Cleo to Monster Ball. That's all I know. But I feel like this piece is the bracelet that Cleo made for Frankie. Okay, now that we have taken a look at all the accessories that this Frankie comes with, and uh, majority of them pretty much do fit in the little basket, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the doll. Still does not come with a stand, so I'm just using one that I got off of Amazon. Um, they come with a keytar, so they are rubber banded kind of like around the guitar, or keytar, I'm sorry, keytar. So I'm just gonna go up. Okay, no, I'm not. How do I? We're gonna have to cut that, aren't we? Where are my scissors? Oh. We'll be right back. And we're back. So here is the keytar. So I actually really like the colors on this. It's like blue and it fades in the purple and then pink, like almost like a ombre effect. It says Stein right there. And they are kind of like raised, but not, not really. We have a silver lightning bolt up here, a little handle. So when they are holding it, it can kind of look like they're holding right up here. And we have this like plastic translucent pink strap. And that is what the back looks like. All right, enough about the keytar. Let's look at the doll. First up, I'm just gonna say it, get it done and out of the way. They have Saran hair. It is Saran. It's not Polly. No, it is it is Saran. 
And one way you can tell if a Frankie doll is going to have Saran is if you look at this white, how it kind of looks almost a little bit yellowy. And then you look at this Frankie with poly hair. And you see how the white in the hair actually looks more white than the Saran white hair. So that is actually one way you can tell if a Frankie is going to have Saran or poly hair. I don't know how to spot that on a Claudine or a Jackalora. I've just learned how to be able to spot that on a Frankie doll. So their hair is basically like the black and white. And then we have some pinks, blues mixed in there. The headphones, sad thing about the headphones is this piece is a little warped from the way it was in the packaging, but that's fine with me. So it's like a silver headphone. We have two chain detail up here. One is just a solid chain. The other has some spikes on it. We have some silver lightning bolts right here. And then the piece that goes over the ear is like a little stitched heart. Same for the other side. They are wearing a pair of green bolt earrings. As for the makeup, I have seen where a lot of people have ordered this Frankie doll and the makeup, like the eyeshadow up here, is all chipped. I want to say mine is chipped too, but I also feel like this little bit of slight chipping is actually supposed to be that way because like it's supposed to mimic like lightning bolts maybe, but I have seen where it has been so bad. So this one isn't too bad, so I'm not too upset about it. And we have this adorable like lightning bolt coming down from their eye right there. And then on this side, we have the little stitch, these beautiful little pink lips. Moving on down to the outfit, we have this plastic like white collar with a pink tie. Now we have seen this tie with the, uh, what is it? The coffin break Frankie. They were wearing a green one. And we have this like silver, I want to say like bolero jacket, but I could be so wrong, but it is like a half jacket with these big poofy sleeves. This, honestly, this Frankie doll is transporting me back to like 80s, like glam rock. So I kind of love it. Um, It is attached to the pleather type of shirt they are wearing and then all of this silver back here that is you know like this belt like it's like the suspender over this like chain belt with two lightning bolts and these chains hanging down you can remove that if you want to it's just hooked right here in the back and the belt that is under it is a separate piece, but you can sadly see where the belt was rubbing against that plastic that it did chip it. It's fine though. It's fine. Um, I'm not going to be like playing with this Frankie doll. This one's going to be like display purposes with my monster ball ones. I have a Frankie that is designated just, you know, for like photography and stuff like that. So it doesn't bother me too much. And moving on down to their shorts. Um, we saw shorts like this. They were in a silver color for the first Skultimate Secrets Frankie. These ones are that black plastically, plasticky pleather material with blue lightning bolts all over them. And moving on down to their boots. I love the boots. I love the boots. I usually like, you know, I feel like the ombre, the whole ombre thing is like overplayed, but I think they did a really decent job with these boots because a majority of the detail is actually painted. So the one that is on their prosthetic leg, it's almost like a cage type of detail. So you can still see the prosthetic leg through it. And then it comes down here in blue and we have some cutout of lightning bolts painted zipper detail and the heel is like bolts and screws and some lightning bolts on the back 
that is the bottom and then the other one the top portion is almost like that cage detail then it fades down and we have some cutouts again of lightning bolts painted zipper detail um i gotta know where do uh the you know where do they shop for their clothes and their shoes like where because they're finding you know these pieces that are just so much very much detailed to them where do they shop for their clothes i gotta know i gotta know and i would really love if you know monster high could like I don't know, maybe do a collaboration with Target or Walmart, something, you know, for us uh, ghouls that are on a budget, do a collaboration with Target or Walmart where they make clothes and shoes and accessories, you know, almost how like Walmart did that collaboration with Miley Cyrus, uh, Kmart did that collaboration with Selena, um... Walmart back in the day had that collaboration with uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen where they did clothes and accessories. Can we do that with Monster High, please? Overall, I think this Frankie doll is amazing. They are gorgeous. They, Mattel Monster High just did a wonderful job on this Frankie doll. The colors go perfectly with them and for the price like for the price you are getting the, uh, this frankie still has all the same articulation in the head the chest the shoulders elbows wrists hips knees all the same basic pretty much articulation that all of their dolls have come with so far except for the bougie dolls that did not have an articulated chest and all these like little accessories for $25 and some change and everything that is a really good price and we are actually you know a lot of the paint detail and everything is pretty decent the shoes themselves you know they painted some of the details we have a lot of the painted detail in the keytar itself like they didn't just make it one solid color they actually painted the blue and everything in here beautiful amazing and for the price too so I really love that I'm interested to see them you know how we got the fancy Laguna I'm interested to see them do a Frankie like that like a collector g3 Frankie or even a collector holiday Frankie like g1 Frankie that'd be cool now I'm just rambling let me know down below what you guys think of Amped Up Frankie Stein. So far, I think this is one of the best G3 Frankies we have gotten so far. I loved the Coffin Break Frankie. And now I, I love this one. I love the style that they're pretty much choosing and everything for this G3 Frankie. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. All that good stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All of that stuff because it really helps me and it helps the channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.